What's now everyone? In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the navigation tabs from Bootstrap 4. To do that, I'm going to search for nav and I'm going to scroll down and this is the template I'm going to be using. So it has the navigation and also it has the tab panes. I'm going to go back to my index.html and paste the code. Save. And let's just refresh very quickly just to see the result. Now, I'm going to wrap this inside of a div tag. Add a class of container. I'm going to add a row as well. I'm going to wrap the tabs inside of a column. And I'm going to offset six, uh, six columns as well. And this is the result. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a spacer, a second spacer. And here I'm going to add a padding of 70 pixels up and down, zero pixels left and right. Then add a margin. Well, let's refresh this so you see the result. Now I'm going to add also a border, a border top, it's going to be solid, two pixels width and the, and, uh, and the color is going to be white smoke. Refresh and as you can see now we have the border but it's too close from our bootstrap cards. So to solve that, I'm going to add a margin top of 70 pixels. Refresh. And this is a result. The next thing I want to do, I want to add another div tag next to our navigation. I'm going to add an image, an image tag, and I'm going to define the location of the image by writing images, computer.jpg, save, refresh, and this is what we are getting as a result. And if we get off the offset, we're going to see that now it's moving to the left. Our tab panes are moving to the, to the other line because we still have the offset enable on the current column. So we refresh, now they are properly aligned. Let's add some text here. This is a home, this is a profile, the 
message messages and settings let's save refresh and now we see profile home messages settings and here you can also add any type of header title anything you want you can add a, you can have you can add a italic um, a quote a span in this case I'm gonna add a h3 just to make it stand, stand out a little bit more and this is the result so for my active tab I want to redefine the style by adding a white color for the font, a background color of a blue black background color, and the border is gonna stay the same. To override the Bootstrap CSS class, we just paste it in our style.css save refresh and now we can see that um, we have the expected changes here I'm gonna copy the CSS class called tab pane to separate separate the title and the rest of the text from the top border. To do that we reference the class name and we add a margin top of 30 pixels. Click on save, refresh and this is the, and this is the result. The next thing I would like to do I would like to add a responsive class to the image so it resizes as we resize the, the browser window. To do that, we go to our index.html, add a class called image fluid, save, refresh, and now as we can see, it resizes properly. For the bootstrap cards, I want to get rid of the embedded style on the HTML tag that comes by default. I'm just gonna erase this, refresh, and this is the final result. The next thing I would like to do as well, I want I would like to get rid of this border. So I'm going to inspect with my developer tools. And what it's causing this is the what is causing this is the class called card. So if we erase this, we're going to see that the border is going to disappear. So I'm going to get rid of this cl um, class name in all my in all my cards. Refresh and the, this is the result. So as you can see guys we have a very nice looking website that is responsive and that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next video tutorial.